it's the Mighty Marvel Show and I'm Paul and in this episode I've got the horn. <laughs> I'm gonna not make any more rhino pun jokes but yes it is. Are you ready? Marvel Legends Rhino. Look at the size of that dude. I'm not even sure I can get him all in the camera. So there we go. There is the rhino in all his gigantic glory. And as a bit of a comparison, let's put up, this is the Symbiote Spider-Man box. Just look at the size of that in comparison to it. It's huge, look, look at that. There we go. So with a little bit of camera trickery, let's just move that out of the way. This is one gigantic piece of plastic. It looks incredible. Although obviously my hand keeps blocking the stupid camera. But there we go. There is the glorious rhino. What do we do now? We've got to get him out of the box and have a look at him. So let's do that. Cathard, here is the rhino. And he is a big lump of plastic. Let's have a look. Great detail. This is straight up comic book. I mean, you have to remember as well, this is from the retro Spider-Man range or for the animated series. So they're not exactly straight out of the comics. There's a lot more simplicity on some of them. For example, the Hobgoblin character, there's just a lot of simplicity in that costume, which I don't really like that figure. But this rhino has got fantastic detail on it. The paint is excellent. If you look at the detail here, the paintwork is excellent across there real detail almost like a proper rhinoceros hide great detail we even got the nails the grooves on the nails as you can see there really really going into great detail on the back of the costume as well and the suit the face this is the angry face sculpt that's just excellent rhino really good detail on that one there Decent head movement as well. If you look at the spare head that's over here, you've got quite a chunky neck support on this one. So you can really get some good range of movement for that one to get the head going up and down. That's great. Comes with grabbing hands as well. So that's excellent because you want to have him grabbing the web swingers legs as well when they go into battle. In terms of movement, let's have a look. So you've got a really good ab crunch going forward. That's quite good because you want to get him into that charging head down mode. You've got, as you would expect, full swivel all the way around. Arms rotate all the way around, go out this far, legs go out a good distance. So there's a lot of chunky movement on this one. Good bend on the knees, really durable knees there. And what you would expect, solid, solid feet. So you can get some really good solid movement. We should be able to get some really good rhino running poses out of him. So that's going to be great. Head down charging. Should be able to get him balanced up there nicely. So that is really, really good. And the detail, just great on the costume. In terms of scale, let's have a look at some other figures. Here he is up against the Kingpin, Wilson Fisk. That looks about right, comic accurate to me. That looks very, very good. Then let's put him up against, of course, Our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That looks about right, obviously, as well. You really want to get him down in there. Charging against Spider-Man. And then in terms of some big old beast figures, here's the recently released Ulick figure. And again, that is going to be a heck of a showdown between those two as well. So, scale of these figures is excellent. Let's have a look at how he balances now and in terms of some of the posing that we can get him into. So I think we've got a really, really good addition to this Spider-Man retro range. Big, chunky figure. This is a rhino I think everybody was after. If we match him up against the 2006 Toy Biz version, 
Wow, I mean, look at the difference in those two. Absolutely just gigantic size against the original Rhino. I like the face pieces on both. Actually, there's a very similar style to them, so I think that looks good. Um, I do like this Rhino, but it is more of the actual armoured uh, look that you would get from the comic books. And obviously here with this brand new one, we are straight up out of the Spider-Man animated cartoon. So I think we've got a phenomenal figure here. So final look at this Rhino figure. Very, very pleased with this figure. I think this is going to be a great addition to those big old chunky Marvel Legends that I certainly love. And a great addition to the Spider-Man Rogue Gallery. And that is it for this little look. Do you have this Rhino? Are you getting this Rhino? Do you want this Rhino? Do you love this Rhino? Let me know. Drop it in the comments. Tell me what you think and obviously like and subscribe and all the things when you're there and that would be great. That is it for me. Thank you very much. See you on another video. Bye for now.